That light's still on in car, I thought I, uh, I switched it off, but it's still on. Let me just uh, check again. Anyway, uh, good evening everybody. Welcome to South Yorkshire Ghost Hunters. Out at St. Leonard's, Old St. Leonard's Church in Priber. So we've come down here tonight, my first night out ghost hunting after, as you, as you probably know, I had uh, an heart attack four weeks ago, uh, yesterday, four weeks ago, yesterday, and uh, from yesterday I could uh, start going out again, because uh, I was, wasn't allowed to drive for four weeks, so I'm out ghost hunting, yippee, hopefully get my life back to normal. With the uh, with the ghost hunting, so you got myself and Diane here. We're at St Leonard's uh, Church, Old St Leonard's Church. We're having a little pit. Uh, we was hoping to go uh, uh, up to Sheffield tonight to uh, meet Simon uh, from uh, Reaper uh, Paranormal, but the weather is not being brilliant. The fog's lifted now, but it was very foggy earlier on. So that REM pod's just been going off. Uh, so we're not sure if it's paranormal activity, but uh, hopefully it is, and we're going to get something. D do you know it's Halloween night? So tonight is... I don't know if that was a bird or what, but it sounded like somebody were giggling. I think it was a bird. But uh, tonight is Halloween night. Tonight, Hear it? Twice now, it's just done that. What? Like laughter. Could have been a bird, because we're not far from uh, private country park. Yeah. So if there's anybody here, if you could touch that green light again and what's on the wall that we just put down, that'd be good. Can you uh, come and touch that green uh, uh, light with the antenna on? That'd be really good if you could do that for us. My name's Martin. My name's Diane. Can you remember us? We've been here before. Yeah, we've been here quite a few times. Spoken to you. So Dan's got flashy balls and K2 rim pods uh, about everywhere. Here's a little kit, piece of kit that everybody should have. It is a puncher. Yep. Yeah. It's also a ground sheet. Yep. Quite good that, isn't it? Yeah. It does spread out like a proper ground sheet. Yeah, very good. Mm. Can I sit on there as yeah, well? That's right. Oh, there you go. We can both <coughs> kiss it down, Diane. Yeah, we're not going to get wet. No. <coughs> so if there's anybody here that is buried here in this... Uh, is that Angel? No. Graveyard? No, I think it was there last time, wasn't it? Uh, when we came, that, uh, that oh. Angel up on, up on there. So if there's anybody here wishing to communicate with us, come forward. Come and let us know that you're here. Come, come and touch these devices that's uh, uh, on the wall, uh, spread around the wall. I've put some, uh, the flashy red there and there. The motion sensors, I've turned them to vibration sensor tonight. Yeah. Because that one will go in off. As soon as we put that red pod down, mm -hmm. it started going off, so I've put that, the vibration sensor there. Okay. So Very good. Ball. Yeah. A ball, a REM pod, a bottle, yep. vibration, REM pod, REM pod, ball, 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 ball. ball. Vibration yeah. and a ball, it's yep. covered. I've got a case if you want one. So just fit your S-box? Yeah, got S-box. 
And I've got a kettle if you want. Oh, very good. I've... Look at that. I didn't know it did this. <laughs> left all my ghost sensing equipment. <clears throat> so it's all packed up, isn't it? All packed up. So, there you go. But uh, we're going to hopefully go out uh, before the winter kicks in and do a few places before the weather gets too bad. We're not going to be going out as much this year as what we we have done in previous other weeks. It's mm. just been most of the time just me and you going out. Yeah, pouring rain, sleet, so snow, floods, we're hurricanes. We're hopefully going to be uh, returning back to the free cranes on Saturday nights, everybody. So we're hopefully going to be there on Thursdays and Saturdays. So if you uh, want to come down, if you can't get down on a Thursday, maybe pop down on a, on a Saturday and come and see us. But we'll just see how the weather goes uh, with uh, with regards to that anyway. So hopefully we're uh, going to be doing a couple of places as well. We've mm. got a couple of pubs, haven't we? On, uh, yeah, we've got a couple of pubs uh, at Bruin. We, uh, Bruin that we're hopefully going to be doing in Sheffield. So... Uh, yeah, come and join us as members. We are looking for members. <coughs> come and join our paranormal club. It's only three pound fifty a week, everybody. Is that the trees with the rain? Is it raining? Ah, I thought I heard somebody walking, but I think it could be. I wonder if there's water running somewhere. I don't know. It raining. might be. No, it's not raining, but it might be. There might be water on leaves. You know what I mean? Yeah. Do you know condensation mm. with fog, and that the fog's coming back in again. You can see it. Yeah. When you we can, first you can see uh, the mist in the in the air. First came through the opening through the gate. Yeah. You said it, and I heard it. I had some like a conversation going. Yeah. Oh, the, yeah. Up at top. Yeah. It's on the yeah, it sounded like somebody were having a conversation in yeah. Great like, uh, Cemetery up at, up at the top. Mm. And I, I heard it, mm. and you said it. And I'm like, obviously we thought someone were here. But there isn't anyone here, just us. Yeah, it just does. As far as we know, there is anyway. Yeah, no, Unless any... Uh, Someone's run off into the field. Uh, there could be spirits here. And hopefully they're going to come down here and come and speak to us. Because they know us by now. We've been here about... Half a dozen times that way, maybe a yeah. little, maybe a little bit more. So come on, if there's anybody here, it's Halloween night. Halloween night is supposed to be the night that the veil between the living and the dead is supposed to be very thin. So can you come and prove that to us? Can you uh, come and sh uh, show uh, yourself to us? Or can yeah. t touch the these devices? That, the person that was here. Because I think someone was here. You, uh, you immediately <coughs> went to that that REM pod, the green one, and you you was touching it. I'd only just put it down. Yeah. And walked away. And so if there were an issue with it, it would have still carried, carried on. on. Yeah. yeah. But it hadn't. It stopped. Yeah. So did you did you touch that? Did you did you ever play with that green light? Can you go up and touch that green light again, or touch the blue one at the side of it? You're quite welcome. Or touch the balls. There's plenty of the, those knocking about on the wall. Any that you want to sit next to. You're quite welcome. You just have to touch them and you'll, they'll just flash uh, blue and red. I always have to remember what it is. It's blue and red. Yeah. But obviously the REM pods are a little bit noisy. But if you see the black little boxes with the red flashing, those are vibration sensors. So if you want to go and touch them or thump around there, you could set them off if you want. It's up to you. They'll make a bit of a noise. It's all up to you. You're welcome. So me and Diana, we're here as friends. We're not here to warm you. We're not here to cause any trouble. We're here just to prove that life goes on after death. We spoke to him past here. We spoke to a man that worked on the rail. Well, uh, uh, rail. Work, he worked at Civil War the, Pit. The pit. Uh, 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 on, on the coal, coal. Uh, shunting coal from, yeah. from there to Blackburn. My friend's partner's family. Yeah. Uh, that were really weird, that. Mm. That was a very strange night, that. 
because she wasn't actually planning on doing anything and she weren't planning on watching us and she just happened to spot us going live and then she's watching us yeah and then she messaged me and it and she was that's my partner's families that you yeah coming through and uh and it's really if anybody wants to watch it go and watch it because I was trying not to give the names of the children out. I couldn't remember how old her children yeah. were. And uh, a spirit went and just said one of the kids' names as loud as you want yeah. on the S-Box. And I was trying yeah, to that be... Was, that uh, was interesting, that, wasn't it? That was good, because I was trying mm. to keep the names out also, of it. Also, when we was here, uh, where we went last time we was here, I think a couple of times ago, but a couple, about three or four times, about... Is it second or third time that we came? Uh, and... Uh, we were sat here, mm. we got table, got Ouija board on go, didn't we? And we had uh, spiritus on go as well. Yeah. And it spelled out that he was a train driver working yeah, yeah. at the rail, uh, working at Silverwood Pit. Mm -hmm. uh, Sean, yeah. uh, and it, it come out on spiritus train. Train, yeah, that were really good, that. So these apps, what we work with, don't we, Martin? Um, we always say it's an experiment. Sometimes, yep. um, I think if you've got a strong spirit with good energy, yep. I think they can actually come through it. Same yep. as the S box. Yeah, we've always been a bit what do you call it? We apps, aren't we? We're wary. a bit wa wary with we're them. wary with balls as well. Yeah, yeah. Same with cat balls not, yeah. and. Uh, we're a bit wary with regards to them. Ad, Addy, is it really paranormal that's setting them off, or is it just well, that they go it? off every is some sort of a... every so often? But sometimes we've we've had them where we've asked to walk walk we away, the, touch one, straight two, away, three, and turn on, and yeah. then and then that's happened. You know what I mean? Yeah. So there's got to be some evidence uh, there. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like anything else. All this is a, is a guessing game, really. Yeah. Paranormal. It's that's all it is. You can't. I mean, obviously, with REM pods, you know that it's got emits its own field. Yeah. Something has to break the field, even if it's a slug. Yeah. Something yeah. will. We don't mention <laughs> slugs. I know. Snail <laughs> slugs, whatever. Creepy crawlies. They will yeah. check check your REM pods if you put them down anywhere. Just in case. Yeah, especially at this time of year, because you yeah. do get a lot of slugs and... <laughs> yeah, because you might be talking to a slug and not a spirit. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's been done a couple of times. Yeah, we've done that. Yeah. yeah. You think you're talking to a spirit and the slug's uh, travelling yeah. up the uh, antenna yeah. of the uh, REM pod. Yeah. yeah. So, who's going to come and speak to us? Uh, ask it all, ladies and gentlemen, to come and speak to us. Come and let us know that you're here. Me and Diane are here just to communicate, just to talk with you. We're Some here chat. to uh, just talk, mm. yeah, nice just chat. to see how you are, that uh, you, things are okay with you, that life goes on after death. We're, we're here because mm. we want to know that something happens to us when we die, that life goes on after death, that when you die, that's not the end. Only you can prove that to us. Only That's you. Good. You've got your vape going, haven't you? Yeah. Right. So Martin's got a vape going, which makes some slight like, smoke stuff. If you want, um, if like you walk a... through it, you might be able to show your faces in it or something. Pop your hand in it. Yeah, you might be able to taste it. It's blueberry. <laughs> yeah. So you, you can if you want, because it's, it's a very thin, like, mist. Yep. And if you want to walk in front of Marty's camera when he's doing that, you know, you might get to see you. It's a, uh, what do you call it? Uh, it's a new way of cigarettes. Mm. Also, right... If there is anybody here with us that is trying to talk, do talk. We might not hear you now, but later on, we might hear you with, on this camera what Martin's got. We might hear your voice, so do speak as loud and as slow as you can. Say anything you like, and then we might hear you. And then, uh, when next time we come back, you know, we, we can confirm that we've heard you. Yeah. <clears throat> and it does pick up your voice. It really does. We've had lots of people talking on it. 
Yeah, so say your name through the camera. Say anything you would like to leave us a message. And then hopefully we'll pick it up. Like last time we came here, we spoke to a man uh, a couple of times ago. Uh, he was a, a train driver for the pit at Silverwood. He used to drive the coal trains and deliver the coal down to Blackburn Meadows from Silverwood. And then we also talked to a lady, but we didn't get much. She was touching the REM pod and stuff, but mm. we didn't really get. Uh, we didn't get any information of the lady. So if that lady comes back, uh, the one that that uh, was uh, <coughs> using our REM pod, you're welcome to do so again. Do talk, talk as loud and slow as you can. And use that vape as well. Yeah. Who was the vicar now? Can you remember? Uh, is no. it up there? Um, I don't know. The, the, this monument is, is built for that vicar, yeah, isn't it? Is it, is it uh, Catherine? Charles. Yeah. Charles Garth. Garth Fullerton. Fullerton and, and Catherine Lucy. Ah, oh, Catherine Lucy. That's nice. So, yes. Yeah, so, do we have uh, the? Uh, do we have Charles Reverend here? Charles. Reverend Charles. Uh, and also uh, his wife Lucy. Catherine Lucy. This uh, monument was built for you. And, uh, uh, what's that, so 1911 by their son, J.S. H. Fullerton. Yep. So this was made for you by your son, that's lovely. Yep, he... Uh, There's an angel there. Yeah, he had these erected for you, your mm. son. I don't know what that says. Alright, uh, so that's that's good. And uh, there's a, the, the, well, the Fullerton Arms in Fry, but that must be... Yeah, is, is that named after you as well, Fullerton that, Arms? That must be named after him oh. as well, the Fullerton Arms. We've got a lovely poppy wreath there, look, for the soldiers. Yep. So I think it is anyway. So if anybody watches this video, could you let us know, was <coughs> Fullerton Arms named after Reverend, Reverend Fullerton. Uh, Charles Fullerton? Probably would have been, wouldn't it? Yeah. I think it's maybe, is it a couple of streets called Fullerton around here or Fullerton something? I'm sure Possibly, yeah. I'm not 100% sure because I don't really know the, um, much about this area as such. I know the main road in and out. There you go, my vape. I don't smoke no more. I packed in now four weeks. I used to be an heavy smoker before I had my heart attack and uh, what do you call it since uh, since I had my heart attack I haven't smoked and hopefully I'm going <coughs> to carry on and not smoke ever again did you smoke when you was alive uh, that's the ducks geese of it yeah the, the ducks thing, can yeah. hear them can hear them yeah that's not too far from here, is it? It's over no, field, it's only over that field, yeah. yeah. About um, half a mile or something. Yeah. We have we've never camped here like, yet, have we? No. Uh, hopefully we can do that. Because mm. next year we're, we're going to start doing uh, camping uh, again. Yeah, uh, well, they said if you're an organisation, you can camp, can't you? Yeah. They just don't allow uh, individual campers temp yep. with tents on. Which is a shame, because I used to go camping there when I had a little. Mm. We used so, to go weekends, but I do also. So week. next year, mm. we're uh, early 2024, we're uh, hopefully <coughs> going to uh, start going camping uh, out to haunted locations like... Uh, uh, one well woods again. We had a good time there, didn't we? We we, yeah. s we spent two nights camping at uh, one well yeah. woods. We resorted to being seven year olds. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Running around playing the army. Yeah. We uh, uh, machine oh, guns, been out of trees and yeah. bazookas. Yeah. You got shot loads of times. Yeah. Just oh, you? I got shot every minute. Since I popped my head up, everybody shot me. Uh, Tony yeah. were funny, yes, because. Got these little tiny pieces of stick pretending and then Tony picked this great big massive log up and went, yeah. I've got a bazooka. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Me and Tristan had ones because we were wizards. Yeah, Tristan, I can't believe how quickly you went to sleep, me. 
Blimey, nearly had to put his head down for two minutes. Here we go. But I was falling asleep in front of the fire in that chair. So next year we're hoping to start going camping uh, once a month or something like that to, to haunted locations around South Yorkshire. So come and join us as a, as a club member. And also we go out every week, every Saturday. Weather permitting. Weather permitting. And then next year hopefully get some good new locations to go visit as well. So members club subs go towards uh, paying for the events they're very expensive events you're looking between four and five hundred pound to uh, to a higher building that's uh, a reasonable price ones isn't it they go up into thousands yeah well, that uh, mm. prison that we want to go and visit that's a thousand pound no nine hundred pound for during week and a thousand pound uh, weekend that's that uh, one down south. I can't remember what it's called now. I have scoped some new places for us anyway, so we've got a list of new places. Oh, uh, very good. So we, we're at Wortley in a couple of weeks' time. Yeah. So looking forward to going back to Wortley again. Love Wortley. Yeah. And a little yeah. spoiler for if anybody watches the last video we did. Mm. Got a spoiler. We were sat, me and you, weren't we? Um, on the, in the tool, work tools and machinery room is. And then I was just saying, can, is there anybody upstairs? Can you come down and spend five minutes? Can you just have a little break? And then all blinking things went off, didn't they? Yeah. Sensors went off as if some you were coming downstairs, motion sensors and that. That would come on that. So, as you can see, we're sat here. <clears throat> we're here to communicate with you. We're here to speak to you. We're here to... Prove your existence that life goes on after death. We're going to go for a drink in a moment. And uh, we're going to sit in the car. Because the car is in the cemetery here. And uh, we're going to have a drink. And while we're having a drink, we want you to come and touch this equipment. And let us know that you're here. So we can have uh, a conversation with you. Maybe you would like to come and join us and have a cup of tea with us. Would you, is that something that you would love to have a, a, a cup of tea again? Keep still. There we go. Bit of a, bit of a laser grid there. I'd love it if the person would come back and uh, touch that REM pod again. You're quite welcome. We did say thank you when you did, you did do it a few times. Did it scare you? Mm, don't worry about it. It's just a little noise. It just means that it sense that you were there. Yep. That's all. This part of the video is going to go shortly. Yeah. It is a little bit noisy, I don't understand. But you can always just like do a little pip-pip to talk to us. You don't yeah. have to do a full like full noise. Yeah, tap it. Yeah. Just give it a quick tap. Just to let us know that you're there. I know it is, it is noisy. I do apologise for the noise. But the balls, if you look at the balls that knock it about, they do not make any noise. They just flash red and blue. So you're quite welcome to come and talk to us. <coughs> I, hope, I hope it's someone that we've, we've spoke to before. And I hope you remember us. I'm going to run out now. Can you remember us? We've been here lots of times. Catch you in the next part.